In this video lesson you will learn how to align widgets inside of the column horizontally or vertically. And if you look at the column image here in this Flutter documentation page, you will notice that the column has two axes. The main axis is vertical from top to bottom, and the other axis is cross axis or horizontal axis. And this means that widgets placed into a column they can be aligned along the vertical axis from top to bottom and they can also be aligned horizontally along the horizontal axis from left to right. So let's see how this works. I'll go back to my Android Studio and here I have a column with three different containers. Each container has a widget and if I bring my iPhone this is how it currently looks. To configure the vertical alignment along the main axis of the column widget, I will use column widget's main axis alignment property. So I'll go to column widget and then I will type main axis alignment and then I can use main axis alignment enumeration that will allow me to use different alignment options. For example, main axis alignment and if I put dot, there are different options that I can select to set the vertical alignment. Let's start with the start option, for example. And if I save my file now and reload my app, all the widgets in the column, they will be aligned at the top of the vertical axis. Now let's choose a different value, for example, end. Now if I save it and reload my app, now I have all the widgets aligned at the bottom or at the end of the vertical axis. We can also nicely align widgets from top to bottom and have them have an equal space between each other. And to do that, I will use a different option and it's called space between. Now, if I save this file and reload the app, I'll see that my widgets are nicely aligned from top to bottom in one single column and these widgets have an equal space between each other. All right, so Play with these different alignment options, see how they work. It is a very useful feature to have when creating an app interface. And widgets in the column, they can also be aligned horizontally along the cross axis. And to align widgets along the cross axis, we can use the cross axis alignment property of the column widget. So I'll go back to the column widget and then I will use cross axis alignment property. And similarly to the main axis alignment, there is also cross axis alignment in ARM and it has different values that we can choose from to set the cross axis alignment. Let's try to align widgets in a column at the end of the horizontal axis. So I will select end option and I will save this file and will reload my app. And now I have a column with three widgets and all widgets are aligned at the end or the right side of the column along the horizontal axis. Now let's try the opposite option and align these widgets horizontally at the start or at the left side of the column. To do that, I will simply replace end with start like this. And now if I save my file and reload the app, my widgets will align from the start of horizontal axis. All right. So play with other cross axis alignment options, see how they work because learning how to align widgets in a column horizontally or vertically is a very powerful technique and it is very useful when building up user interface. 